scalar product and vector product of two vectors dot product or scalar product of two vectors the dot product of two vectors a and b is defined as a product of the magnitudes of the two vectors multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them the scalar product of two vectors is a scalar if vectors a and b have the same direction theta is equal to zero then the scalar product will be equal to the product of the moduli of the vectors as cos zero is equal to one when the vectors are perpendicular to each other the scalar product is equal to zero because cos 90 is equal to zero cross product or vector product of two vectors let a and b be two vectors and theta be the angle between them the magnitude of the cross product of the vectors a and b is equal to modulus of vector a into modulus of vector b into sine theta the cross product of vector a and b gives the third vector c the direction of the vector c is normal to the plane containing vectors a and b in such a way that vectors a b and c form a right-handed coordinate system cross product can also be written as shown the direction of the third vector c need not be in the direction of vectors a and b the direction of vector c can be determined either by using right hand screw rule or right hand thumb rule right hand screw rule the screw rule states that if a right handed screw is rotated from vector a to vector b through a small angle the direction of the advancing screw gives the direction of the cross product of vectors a and b if the screw is rotated from vector b to vector a through a small angle the advancement will be downward hence the cross product of vectors a and b is equal to the negative of the cross product of vectors b and a right hand thumb rule the thumb rule states that if the fingers of the right hand are curled in such a way that they point along the direction of rotation from vector a to vector b through a small angle then the thumb points in the direction of the cross product of vectors a and b note that the cross product of two vectors will not obey commutative law